Forecast, News 18, weather from where you live. Well, clear skies out there, a few light clouds still lingering right around the viewing area, but altogether, uh, very clear, crisp, and frigid start to the day, to say the least. We saw temperatures drop as low as negative one, negative two throughout some of the viewing area earlier on. It's currently three right now. Winds are from the west sustained at 20 miles per hour. Wind gusts have been and may continue to climb up as high as 30 to 35 miles per hour over the next few hours. That current wind chill, negative 18, and we may see wind chills drop down to negative 25 to negative 30 throughout the entire afternoon ahead. Here's your current temperatures throughout the entire viewing area. We're still down to around zero in Rensselaer, three degrees in Kokomo to Rossville, seven degrees Crawfordsville, so warming up further off to the south. However, still seeing wind chills below zero across the board. Negative 13 in Kokomo feels like 17 below in Rossville. Your 19 Lafayette feels like negative 12 in Fowler as you step out the door this midday. Now, because of these wind chills and because they're going to be so low and potentially dangerous over the next 24 to 48 hours, the National Weather Service has this wind chill warning out for the entire viewing area. This ends at 12 noon on Wednesday, so not through today, not through tomorrow, through Wednesday afternoon. We're still looking at dangerous wind chills throughout the entire viewing area. Here's your satellite radar the last 12 hours. Now, we did see that cold front roll through late last night. In fact, temperatures as of 10 p.m. last night in Lafayette were at 40 degrees, so a mild temperature. To say the least, that's six degrees above the average high temperature for this time of the year. We dropped 41 degrees in about 11 hours here at the station. That's how potent that cold front was as it pushed further off to the south. We continue to see the area of high pressure far off to our north really pushing the really pulling the very dry cold air mass in from the northwest and that will continue to track towards our part of the viewing area really throughout the next 24 to 48 hours so things are looking very chilly over the next couple of days this will not just be a day-long event we're talking today tomorrow even into wednesday seeing those very chilly temperatures your high res future cast throughout the rest of the day few light clouds here and there just some light upper atmospheric cirrus cloud cover the sun will still be peeking through really making it all in all mostly sunny to partly cloudy day. Overnight tonight into tomorrow morning will clear out and really drop off as far as temperatures. We should see a high today right around 4 degrees in Lafayette, but still those wind chills will likely be, be near negative 30 throughout much of the afternoon. Winds will be from the northwest 15 to 35 miles per hour. We fall down to around negative 2 by about 3 p.m., negative 6 by 5 p.m., negative 9 by 10 we bottom out at negative 15 overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. Winds do calm down, but still looking at breezy conditions overnight tonight with wind gusts as high as 20 miles per hour. Those wind chills likely near negative 30. Once again, tomorrow, a few light clouds here and there. Temperatures actually climbing back above into the positive territory. Once again, see an afternoon high temperature right around 4 degrees for falling right back down below zero. Once again, negative 5, your overnight low temperature Tuesday night into Wednesday. Well, it's 70, 17 degrees on Wednesday afternoon. Overnight lows right around 11 Wednesday night into Thursday. 27, your high temperature on Thursday afternoon. Slight chance of snowfall arrives Thursday afternoon and evening continues in the Friday, possibly Saturday as well. And then temperatures begin to warm back up. 28 degrees, your high temperature on Sunday. So a bit more mild towards the end of the work week. But all together, Alex, a very cold way to start off the work week. Here. Something that distinguished today from, I think, a lot of other very cold days is the wind we had this morning blowing very hard. That's right, blowing very hard and seeing a lot of blowing and drifting snow across the roadways, making travel pretty dangerous as well. Not to mention all the slush, the water on the roads over the last 24 hours, thanks to the mild temperatures. That froze over. So dangerous conditions this morning. The wind us as high as 45 to 55 miles per hour. Pretty much a thing of the past, but still pretty breezy out there. All right, Cam, thanks very much. Up next, a cruise ship is on its way home after hundreds of passengers fall ill. But first, here's a look at today's market.